Hi guys! Hi guys! Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making the guacamole I always talk about. This video has been requested for a long time. He makes really good guacamole. Well, I've already done this in a video, but it was in a 20 minute long video somewhere, so. Yeah. Plus, I'm really hungry, and I'm. And I am finally starting the process of going blonde today, which oh I've gosh. been wanting to do forever. So, this is like my pre blonde snack. Look at it. See? That's the, that was the strand test. Don't judge it by that, but that was the strand <laughs> test. So, it's gonna be a process. I may be orange for a while while transitioning to being. Blonde, but I need to start making it because I'm hungry. This is a quick, easy guacamole recipe. I make it all the time because Nikki loves it so much. It, it takes like four minutes to make or less if you're a fast chef. Here we go. First, start with two avocados. I just cut them in half and squeeze them right into my blender cup. I'm using the Rocket Chef. It's the perfect size for a single serving of guacamole. Then I get cilantro and put in a generous amount. I'm not doing any specific measurements here. That is the biggest red onion I've ever seen. Anyways, I just cut a wedge in and stick some in there. Again, no specific measurements. Then I get a sereno pepper and cut it in half and gouge out the middle because Nikki doesn't like it. Very, very spicy. But uh, this ends up giving it the perfect flavor and amount of heat. Then I grab two limes, you can use lemons if you want, but the juice is very important because it's gonna help all the ingredients grind together to get that smooth consistency that we're looking for. Then I've got some cumin, give it a couple taps, and finally some salt, I've got some pink salt. It'll help bring out all the flavors. Now we're ready to blend. Now when I do this, I have to keep taking it off and tapping it on the counter to get all the ingredients to settle to the bottom. Um, as we go, it gets thicker and thicker and this you just have to keep tapping it down to the blade. If you're using a traditional blender and all the ingredients are not blending together like you wanted, then that means you didn't get enough juice from your lemon or lime. So add a tiny, tiny bit of water. What I'm doing right here is kind of poking a hole in there because it creates a vacuum in there and none of the ingredients want to settle down. So let some air out. Once you see this nice swirl at the top, really slow, that means everything is blended together perfectly. And you're done. Ooh, baby. That looks good. Ah, oh, blue chips. Since I don't have an exact measurement of all the ingredients, it kind of turns out a little different every time. This time is really good. <laughs> it is really funny. This is one of the best ones you've ever made. It's so I don't good. How about that? Dude, they're all That's really it. good though. It's always a little different. Yeah, sometimes it's a little spicier, sometimes it's a little more cumin. That's the beauty of not keeping it the same. Mm -hmm. It's always a treat. And this is my pre blonde <laughs> hair. <laughs> Back to the hair. I'm going blonde tonight, guys. This is the last time you will see me as a blonde. <laughs> or as Wait. a brunette. Yeah, I'm going blonde. I'm going blonde, so soak it in. I have no makeup on and I'm in a dress. Just the back to the gym. Back okay. to the guacamole. <laughs> it's so good. These chips are pretty good too. For being super healthy, they're pretty good. Well, I don't even remember what Tostitos taste like, so mm. they're good. They taste like regular chips. One of our next episodes, one of our like upcoming ones, we're gonna review these cookies that got sent to us. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know what cookies I'm talking about. So we're gonna review those in one of our upcoming episodes. I'm really excited. So I guess that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. Make it, comment below, let me know how it turned out. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me it's your favorite snack ever. Oh, also, if you take pictures of any of the food that we show you or products that we show you ever, just use the hashtag healthy junk food on Instagram because we wanna start seeing if people like have suggestions for products for us to review or recipes or they try our recipes or whatever, so. All right. Whatever. Later. Bye.